In this video, we want to look at how we can summarize this data really quickly uh, using checkboxes and be able to summarize our year, sales rep, date, and brand. So our first step is to create a new tab and then I want to grab the year data. So I'm going to grab the year and in order to find the year, I'm going to do a equal um, sort. I'd like this sorted and unique. And then the data I'm looking at is the year data over here. And what I'd like that to be is a locked, uh, is this the whole range all the way down. And then on a Mac function F4, um, I'm going to lock that range and hit enter. And there's my years. The next thing I'd like to do is summarize the total sales by year. And that's going to be a formula equals sum if, sum ifs. And we're going to look at our data. Our data is over here. Um, the sum range that we want is F to F. So we should be able to get in here and grab our sales data. It's going to be F to F. And then the actual sum range is going to be this range here, B to to B. And we'll, we'll uh, just lock these really quickly. We'll lock that range and we'll lock this range. Up, we need a two in there. And then F4 to lock that range. And then finally, the last criteria is to look for this. And then we should be able to hit enter. And let's go ahead and highlight all of these and get these set up as dollar signs. And then we should be able to copy that formula down. And there's our lists for all of those. But what I'd really like to do here is only have this show up if there is a checkbox check. So we're going to insert a checkbox. And notice the checkboxes are either true or false. So we can use that criteria to write our statement over here. So what we're going to do is take that checkbox and we'll wrap this with an if statement. So if and if this um, C2, if C2 is true, then we're going to do some ifs. And if C2 is not true, we're not going to do anything. And so there we go. And if I check box, that comes on and off. So I should be able to copy this formula down. Those will all disappear. But as I copy this down and turn these on, I can see those, that data. You can use um, highlight this range a space bar to turn those off. I would like to get a sum in here. I'd like to sum this over here. So we will equal sum and we will highlight these range of cells and hit enter. And we have a dollar sign. Now when I do this, I can get a total of the different years as I turn the check boxes on and off. And then finally, what I'd like to do is get a count of how many of those. So this is going to be uh, if, if C2, then I want to do a count if, a count if the sales, or no, the year over here, we'll go ahead and select that, the year, and again, B2B, lock the range. Function F4, comma, is equal to this year. And go ahead and close that out. We get a false. If we turn this on, we get, we get a count. So we have something wrong here. Um, if C2 count if, we needed, um, we needed a comma. And now that false goes away, we get a number or we get nothing. 
So that formula should work to copy down, and we can double check that. So if we do this and hit a space bar, yep, we get that. So the last thing I'd like to do is just go ahead and use the sum function and sum this up. So now we've got the year data. I'd like to grab the other data that we have over here, which is sales rep, state, and brand. So we should actually be able to copy all of this and paste it. Uh, I think I'll leave a space here. Paste it right here. Now this, of course, is the wrong year. So what we need to do here is change this to um, sales rep. And then here, this is not sales B2. This is C2. And that should give us our list of sales reps. And then this is not B, again, sales, we're looking at changing this to C. And that should give me my sales for each one of these. I'll have to copy that formula down because we changed it. And we need to copy these check boxes down. And that looks right. <coughs> and this range is wrong now, so that's got to be changed to G, in this case, G16. And that should give us the total amount that we see there. So we've got our sales rep. And then lastly, this is wrong. Uh, we have our H2, but we have to change this to C and change this to C. And that should work. And then we should be able to copy that down. And this should be 999, but again, we have the wrong range. So I think that goes up to 16. There we go. So now we, uh, we can you know, narrow this down. I just wanted a column differentiator there. So now we could continue this process. Um, again, I could grab this, copy, and come in here and paste. Now, one way to clean this up even more quickly is to do uh, Command-Shift-H on a Mac. And what we're going to find is C2C. Uh, actually, it's, uh, it's going to be, or we're going to look for this. C2C. I'm going to copy that, just make sure I have it right. I'm going to paste that. And then I'm going to do, I want to replace it with dollar uh, D dollar two colon dollar D. So C2C to D2D, and that's just in this range, K2 to N16. You want to be careful of that. And I want to search within formulas. So I'm going to, in this range, I'm going to look for B2B, change it to C2C, replace all, did 31 instances. And now we should have all of the correct information for our sales rep, except um, this is the uh, okay, yeah, that's correct. And this is our state. Confuse me there for a minute. And then we could do that same function over again. We're going to grab this, copy it, come over here. We're going to paste. We're going to grab this data here. We're going to go ahead and uh, command shift H. We're going to be looking in this case again for, but we need to check this out. We're going to be looking for D2D, and we're going to change it to E2. So I'm going to grab D2D, copy that, and then I'm going to highlight this range. Uh, Command-Shift-H on a Mac brings up the find replace. We're going to paste what we had there, and it should be $E, $2 colon, dollar E. And search within formulas, make sure I'm looking here, say replace all, found 30 instances. And we, again, our problem here is our sales. Uh, that should have fixed this, but this is our brand. And so brand should be, let's see, brand is E. So this formula should be E to E. And there we've got our brands. Uh, states should have been E to uh, D to. Not sure why that didn't change. 
thought we had selected that. And there's my states. So, well, actually, I'm going to undo that. That, that. that is my sales rep. No, I'm sorry, I was slid too far. Sales rep, state, I'm going to redo my mistake. Sorry about that. There's my states, and then this is my brand. Okay, so we have that. Um, we've got all of our columns in. Um, I'm going to clean this up a little bit, stop the video, come back, and show you how I might clean it up uh, really quickly. So I'm back. I um, had gone ahead and just reformatted a few of these things the way I'd like. So now I can highlight a range of checkboxes, hit the space bar, turn them off, highlight this range of checkboxes, turn them off, highlight this range of checkboxes, turn them off, and highlight this range of checkboxes and turn them off. And now I have a quick and easy way to just take a look at 2017 data. I can look at my, my summary by Davis. I could look at my summary by Iowa. I could look at my summary by Nike and see how many and what the totals are.